is a pretty good act. That is ideal. And we get a store to make sure we're elite worthy. Mm -mm -mm. Transform strikes okay. Curse for 250 gold isn't bad. Bring to things for 27 months. Appreciate it. Thunderclap. Thunderclap's interesting. It means we don't have to care as much about bash upgrade. Was that defend last turn? Awful? That would have been awful. That might have been very bad. Paid off, though. Thanks for the three months, Flannel Valen. Appreciate it. I don't get to take Disarm and Flame Barrier. I already took the strong defensive card in Flame Barrier, although it's a Guardian Act. I sort of want the Disarm. Take anger and actually go right instead of going to the store. Just claim that I have enough for the elites already. And the store doesn't make me as strong as the hallway fight does right now. The store is like a more consistent floor. There are a lot of cards I can get from the hallway fight that are very good, plus a key to keep my gold for next act is a big deal. I can maybe remove a strike here, and that's sort of like a store. A twin strike or a cleave? Cleave with thunderclap, sort of okay. That's a very good floor. Pain is even good sometimes for ironclad. Not this time so far, but sometimes. Kra Lamahal, hello? I think Ironclad is angry and disappointed. That's my honest answer. This deck takes Sneko Eyes, so I don't want to upgrade Anger. 
It would be the best upgrade, I think, other than that. Just upgrade clothes line, maybe? Or cleave. I don't know. Everything's sort of fine. Cleave's a little bit better for the later Act 1 hallway fights, if I ever have any of those. I didn't even really bother to look. Um, that sucks. No clothesline. To lose our upgrade, basically. Hmm. This is also pretty bad. We do that since it saves us 8 health immediately and deals 4 damage. Dealing 4 damage is actually sort of relevant there. Shockwave, not terrible. That continues to very much want a Sneko Eye. Wait, I didn't even upgrade Clothesline. It was just upgraded with Warp Tongs. Right, okay. Gotcha. Let's upgrade Thunderclap. I think I'm usually playing that card. kill this on this turn almost. Almost. Undervalue the Thunderglove upgrade? It's not like it's incredible or anything. It's just um three AoE damage, like whatever. I think when you have Shockwave your like clothes line upgrade obviously isn't as good as usual. And if you have warped tongues, a lot of the cards that are important to be upgraded on turn one. Hey blue candle. That's fun. Blue candle does interesting things here sometimes. Um a lot of the things that are important to have upgraded on turn one are your AoE cards for like slime gang. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. I have made an apple in my belly. It is unclear what of um, Combust and Evolve is more exciting here. I don't get another Sentry's Fight this act, I guess. Maybe Combust them? Combust gives me Combust, Cleave, and Thunderclap, all AoE. I want a Rupture. I want a Rupture and a Reaper. Perhaps Rupture next floor and Reaper the floor after that. That would be nice. Is Cleave ever worse than Strike? Yep. You could also skip, but skipping seems not good to me. Did the Thunderclap upgrade matter there? Maybe it didn't. Hope I can get through that shield next turn. I have Gambler's Brew to help if needed. Okay. Ooh, 
sure. All right. Got ourselves a little bit of a deck here. And now Reaper from this fight, ideally. Rupture is very slow. It's not like I've already won or anything just because I got that. But it is nice to have. God, how did I not get a Reaper? I don't understand. If I take another Flame Barrier, I might have a little bit of trouble if I don't get a fourth energy or snack on. If I don't take another flame barrier though. Don't have any block in my relics. Take a lot of damage every fight from combust and pain. I think I'm good with double flame barrier. It's nice to just have a big block card. Yeah, mm, dog. You did not get enough sleep. That's my thought. Ah. Uh -uh. Magic flower. Okay, just waiting on the reaper. Pummel's fun with all this strength. I think it's bad because I don't think we have enough card draw though. I'm going to take true grit and maybe upgrade it even. A little bit worried that the deck doesn't have enough acceleration for what it's doing yet. It doesn't like have enough front loaded stuff. A Sneko I gets us there probably. debuffs. There are how many boss relics? 20 or so? Depends. There are like character only boss relics and mostly 20 or so. Intense, is it? This is easy. Yeah, 
have 12 strength is the thing. Although, if I never get to play an attack... <laughs> hey, Caspian. I will take Corruption pretty happily. It's not Reaper, though. But it's very good already, and will continue to get better. That isn't Sneko Eye. I think this deck actually pretty happily takes Fusion Hammer, though. I don't think there's a single upgrade that it cares about for the rest of the run. Like, maybe energy upgrades, but... Runic Pyramid would have been really good there, too. Oh well. Let's go to the store, and then we have the ability to go to every possible place from there. So we'll work it out, but probably go like through... I don't know. We'll work it out. Two strength for one health there with a Sender's Bane. Do I regret my decision? Yep, a little bit. That's not Reaper either. No card draw either. Dark Embrace's card draw? Last I checked. Um, Dark Embrace... Flower... Flower is fine. I think hmm, blood potion's actually thirty percent of my health, so it's twenty-one health. I have to rest at the campfires. Don't really want bites, but I want upgrade strikes the fans. I want this. Yeah, that's broken. Dark Embrace Necronomicers with Rupture and Blue Candle. That's actually insane. I'm less convinced by this one. I guess it gives me a relic. It's probably like pretty close. We have bottles dark embrace for me. Ekebeko? Ekebeko is not that bad. GG? <laughs> Good fight.
Can I actually go here? Mm, I didn't drink it in combat, so I didn't do as much. Oh well. Generating slavers. Yikes. Did they regenerate at the start or end of their turn? Also, I should get rid of this. Oh, well, why, I have to fire potion now. Right? <laughs> if I'm doing that, don't I have to fire potion? Feels like I do. Look, rear. Another combust. Nah. Could go this way. Gentle. Tungsten rod is coming. Do I want that? Not sure I want that. It sort of makes rupture not work anymore. Holy shit, I have Necronomicon too. <laughs> nice. Alright. Got through it. Don't want these. Unless I want Searing Blow plus one for Necronomicon. It's actually okay. I think no, though. Gambling Chip is very good. That is one of the better relics in the game. This doesn't feel like we need Searing Blow to be the strong thing that we do in this run. To me? I don't know. Maybe I'm... Maybe I'm missing something. strength do I want? It's probably good. Another Dark Embrace. That seems very good here.
I was talking about Reaper, but what about Feel No Pain? Feel No Pain would be nice. It would make us a lot of block. Uh, I'm gonna take a shrug. Seems like I have enough energy to do that. Question mark over store. I can't afford Reaper. I could afford to feel no pain. There are potions I could afford, but they're not necessary. And question mark. Apparitions are really good here too. Yeah. Not the most exciting question marks. energy turn one like you do yeah There do seem to be a lot of hallway fights. Yes, no, it's Super Kamiguru. There certainly do. Hmm, not Reaper. Not Reaper, not Whirlwind, not Feel No Pain. It's okay though, my deck's like still above the curve. But it could have gotten way stronger in this act. Way stronger. Dark Embrace is not in my opening hand, or in my top 10 cards, really. I feel very sad. I heal for 9 at the end of the fight. So one more. curve yeah like this deck already has near infinites they're not technically actually infinite because it runs out of health but not before the champ is dead right sort of like dual wield it's a it's a thinker card dual wield could become very strong did i really not get a rare I didn't get a rare this act. That doesn't seem possible. All I did was fight.
There was a bludgeon in a store. Yeah, that one doesn't count. the rare math, you are meant to get a rare if you go through the entire act like that. <laughs> uh, it starts at minus 2% and goes up by 1% every time you see a comma, and it's 10% higher in elite fights. That is the rare math. So I have lethal in hand. Maybe not quite. Do uncommons have math? No, uncommons are just 33% of the time. Unless you go a very, very long time without seeing a rare, in which case they start to be lower eventually. Oh, Dark Embrace breaks my... Uh, Necronomicers. I don't think about that. It's been a while since I've had this little combo. That is a bit awkward, though. So I can not play the second Dark Embrace in fights to get away with that, if needed. Also, once I'm doing the Anger thing... Oh, that's a Reaper. I wonder what the other ones were. <laughs> this is actually... <laughs> like, that's actually insane here. Found the runic cube deck. Looks like I don't have to go to many campfires. I can just go through all the elites. It's like I must go to YouTube. It's insane. It's alright. It's okay. Maybe I should remove strikes. Seems plausible. Oh, I have Reaper now, though. Okay, so... One Dark Embrace. Rupture's in play. Wait. Do I not want the Dark Embraces at all anymore? Hmm.
I think Runic Cube is okay, but sometimes we might not want to play the Ruptures, actually. Or the Dark Embraces, rather. We can lose Combust. It doesn't do anything anymore. I will not be losing Reaper. I'm gonna keep that one. Look for Mind Bloom or look for. What do we get in Holy Fights? Feel No Pain? Feel No Pain is pretty good. Corruption. Thank you. Feels like I do see quite a lot of cards, so I should be able to put the strong things into play fairly easily. Slay the Spire as the devs intended. Heavy Blade plus, though? Actually, with rupture too, or with uh, Akabeka rather. Yeah, this is one of those strange situations where pain is actually a really good card. That's a feel no pain. Feel no pain also very good here. is just Yawgmoth's bargain. I don't know what that is. <laughs> is that the six cost one or the three black? Probably should know what that is. It's the six cost one? Okay. What about 
three Dark Embraces. Feels questionable that I want one Dark Embrace. I'm gonna take a Sentinel, though. I don't know why. Why did I take a Sentinel? No idea. There are calipers would be unnecessary here, command. I would love calipers here. I don't think we're. I don't think we've won yet. But I can have some really weird, awkward hands. A barricade. Barricade would be really good. Doesn't healing to full with Reaper protect against those awkward hands? Healing to full with Reaper is pretty good. It's really not bad. Does Exhume get Necronomic Curse? Can I have two? I think it can get Necronomic Curse. Don't believe I've ever Exhumed for Necronomic Curse before, but uh... This may be the moment. Yeah, it totally can. <laughs> I've never done that before in Slay the Spire. New things just keep happening. Any eruptions in my deck? Sentinel's gone. Good to know. Thanks for that two months. Appreciate it. I forgot about Warped Tongs. That's where I got the pain, I guess. It's funny, the Necronomic Curse is faster than the Necronomicon, and this pain is... I'd say faster, stronger. And the pain is stronger than the, uh... ...thing. Warped Tongs. I wasn't actually planning to go to any campfires. I guess there's the final campfire. Something to do there. There's no way to get two Necronomicon curses in your deck, even in Endless. Uh, in your deck, yeah, but you can exhume one from your exhaust pile mid fight, right? That's what we're saying. Bloodletting the infinite without corruption. 
As long as you're gaining health at some point, they can, yeah. Is anger good in the stack? Sometimes. If I'll die to the curses, that'd be awkward. Or not the curses, sorry, the burns. Don't have a med kit. I've got some true grits. Don't you get a reward screen when you dig now, though? You used to be able to get killed by that, but I'm pretty sure that they changed it. There's still an event that can kill you like that, though. Hello, dude! This is a $10 donation. You should check out my uh, mini chat on Anchor. On YouTube. That will answer your question. Is Trigger Plus a good card here? It seems like an okay card. That wasn't dead branch. I would have had to think if that was dead branch. Not really. I would have had to yell if that was dead branch. <laughs> Runic dodecahedron got removed, yeah. Rest in peace, a sweet prince. Branch would definitely either be good or bad. is full? Wait, that doesn't work if your hand is full? What? Really? You can fizzle that if your hand is full. I did not know that. Oh. I have no idea. Saw a rare, unfortunately. A little bit awkward. 
I don't know. Question mark. I already got Mind Bloom. I guess Hallway Fight. Imagine if it gave me a curse. That would be really upsetting. Gosh. I hope you don't give me a curse, enemy. Please, anything but that. This turn, let's do next turn. Imagine getting self forming clay. See, we're gonna at some point need to also get a barricade or a calipers, or else the value that I'm wasting is just gonna upset me way too much. Flame plus doesn't seem necessary. Ooh, okay. Would duplicate a card have been good here? I'm not even sure it would have been. This is probably the best possible event. Okay, once I have Dark Embrace in play, I feel a lot better about ending turn. Let's play two of them. Get rid of that. This is the problem, though. If I draw five strikes here, it's not good, you know? Seems still. It takes a long time for my turn to like process. When I play Reaper, a lot of things happen. embrace on play yet. Right, I'm drawing off pain. Gotcha. Entire thing is so weird.
<laughs> it just doesn't look like I'm playing Slave Aspire, does it? Like, the things that are happening do not th seem like things that should happen in Slave Aspire. I don't think it's too late for feed. I could potentially get 6, 12, 15, 21 against the Act 4 elites. Yeah, I'm sorry about that zuck my dick. Uh, that must be really hard for you. Uh-oh. Should I have just played Trigret, and if I hit Corruption that would have been fine? I could have just exhumed it. This sucks. <laughs> oh. My other problem is that when I play Reaper it's going to kill both of them, so I only get to feed once. <sighs> Rude. Proof that this deck can still lose. Proof that I shouldn't be drawing cards with only 3 energy. Wait a second. Forty-three. This deals forty-six. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I think it's better to feed than Reaper. Actually. I think time eater might still be annoying. We'll see. Blood for Blood feels like it starts costing zero pretty fast. And having a card that I can get out of my hand is sort of nice. It's sort of a bad anger in this deck though. Like it deals 12 more at first, but after like two turns they deal basically the same amount because I have 30 strength. Oh no, I'm never resting at the campsite. That would be completely ridiculous. Bottled corruption. Bottled corruption, bottled corruption. Why no pummel? What does it do? What does it do that the deck can't do? What problem does it solve? It needs solving.
wait, that's the wrong one to hit for the stack. Very obviously the wrong one. Eh. Yeah, I haven't been to a store for a little while, so I have a good amount of gold. Actually, it's not even that bad to hit Daka here. Next turn I start with Reaper, and then we draw a feed again. All of max HP off feed so far. Where's Body Slam? Body Slam might be okay. Alright, here's Time Eater. I was told Time Eater could be challenging. Let's see how it goes. Well, this isn't great so far. Is that annoying, not challenging? Okay, that is a different thing. I suppose. like we're dead. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Seven hundred forty seven gold med kit. Med kit. Med kit's good. Whirlwind's fun. Not gonna take it. It's fun. Ink bottle. Ink bottle, sort of. 
sort of have a lot of card draw already, you know? Um... Sort of want to just take lots of copies of Metallicize. Well. Take lots of powers. Looking for Barricade. What I actually want to do. Oh. I'm 18 gold short of boat. That is unbelievable. Probably find um, rupture. Not everyone can afford a boat. True, but I, for one, don't feel that that's how things should be. Feel that everyone should be able to afford a boat. Don't Reaper yet. Reasonable, super fair. Nice egg fried, that's awesome. Congratulations. The wield corruption. It's possible. Oh, the heart's hitting me. <laughs> it's really funny. Okay, I'm done. That's fine. Get strength from beat of death. True. Don't have rupture in play anyway. I don't have a dark embrace yet. Hmm. Bye, Reaper. Just making this as hard as possible for myself. That's okay, I have Exhumed for Reaper, and we're not gonna need more than one. Okay, 
have two dexterity. True. Very true. Goodbye, Necronomicers. It was nice. Oh, it doesn't work because my hand is full because of the pain interaction, which I've never seen before this run. Wow, that's actually scary. I might lose now. That's actually, like, pretty scary. I don't have a Reaper anymore. I'm not gonna lose that. But I'm a lot closer to losing than I was before. My Exhume didn't work. use feed to heal. Yep. I guess that's the plan, right? sort of spooking. The Reaper is going away for the heart fight. A little bit scary. Got there though. Man, this game's easy. Anybody know any hard games? I am just like high rolling the most ridiculous things that I've ever tie rolled ever. <laughs> Just over and over again. I guess there was a defect run that was really close. It's only the third time I've ever gone 10-0. Take a look at the runs. <laughs> 